Just one comment on what quotation I put at the end of the book. It's from the Buddha. Hatred does not hand hatred. Hatred only hand with love. I think that's a very interesting quotation. Why? Because hatred and love could be seen as a pair of opposite. But I don't think that is what the Buddha says. We have to go beyond pair of opposite. What is me? What is not me? War, peace. I love, I hate. If we nourish one side of the pair of opposite, subconsciously, we, you can be sure you'll nourish the other side. You repress the hatred you have of someone and say, I want to love him, I want to love him, I want to love him. Sooner or later, like a magma chamber exploding in a volcano, the repressed hatred will come out. Love and hate do not belong to a pair of opposites. Hatred, yes, of course, at some level, hate, love, it's a pair of opposites. But the love pointing out of that quotation is unity. Love comes of being unified. When you have two, you have conflict. What is me and what is not me? Uh, the main tradition, the main civilization, were based on mythological story, which underlined that. The Roman Empire, Romulus and Remus, Cain, Abel at the beginning of the Bible. When you have two, you have conflict. So love is beyond conflict. Why? Because love springs out of unity. The most powerful energy in that dimension is love. When you express love, you connect with the very center of yourself. You open your heart, and that heart has the flavor of unity. How do you open your heart? You've got to dismantle the fear. Because hatred and fear are absolutely linked. Hatred, fear, repressed guilt, those are really, really playing the same game. So, if we want to open to love, we got to clear the layers of fear. And the more we clear the layers of fear, the more we clear the hatred, and the more love flourishes.